Speaker, London was dealing with a housing crisis long before COVID-19, but last week we learned how much worse the pandemic has made things for London tenants. According to CMHA, in the last year, more than 8,000 London area families fell behind on rent. London is second only to Toronto in the amount that is collectively owed in rent arrears, a whopping $7.6 million. Many of these 8,000 families were already struggling to make ends meet before COVID turned their lives upside down. They now face the prospect of losing their homes as well. I am grateful for the work of two local grassroots organizations, the London Tenants Association and Acorn London, which have stepped up to support tenants in the wake of this government's drastic cuts to legal aid. This work is especially important right now, given the government's decision to allow fast-tracked COVID evictions to go ahead. Speaker, London's shortage of affordable housing and skyrocketing rents means that people who are evicted struggle to find a new place to live. As Ontario faces a possible third wave, how are those 8,000 London area families supposed to follow public health advice if they don't have a home to stay safe in? Speaker, London tenants desperately need solutions. When will this government recognize housing as a human right and start working with us to protect tenants and fix the housing crisis in London and across the province? Thank you, Speaker.